folks prospector trip here <laughs> how you doing i know it's been a couple weeks but dang this dog is busy sometimes anyway i wanted to show you guys this unit here um this this is basically a concentrator an ore concentrator and uh and what it does uh you basically have the the water running which of course floods this bucket and it's got uh Hey, we got a video going here too. Um, have you look inside here, you can see that uh, I got some PVC in there, right? And of course the hose goes to this PVC here and down to a T and then to these two pieces and they're connected here. And I got some holes drilled in here uh, to of course uh, stratify the material, uh, you know, and basically, uh, you know, have it all uh, suspended in the water. And uh, on top of that, you know, the water comes flowing out of here, which I'll show you in just a minute. But uh, I have, a, of course, a, uh, a little stage I built here that uh, can go in the X direction here. Uh, X, X for me. <laughs> anyway, I got it rolling on these uh, PVC tubes. The Egyptian way, baby. <laughs> and, of course, a drill. But, you know, I can flip out. It's an old drill I had built a few barns and blah, blah, blah. You know, and then, bam, there it is. It's involved here. So uh, <clears throat> what I've done, you can see I got material in there. It's probably got about maybe an eighth of a bucket in there. But actually, I've added uh, about two full buckets of material here. About two full buckets. And so uh, from that, you know, from two buckets, we literally have, uh, you know, an eighth of a bucket. So we're about 16 times more concentrated. You know, an eighth of a bucket. So we're about 16 times more concentrated in here than the original material. Uh, and down here in the water, I'm touching the material right there. So if I go down here, right at about the water line is how deep the material is, which this bucket here is about a foot deep. So it's about a foot deep in here. And then of course there's some really super fine material here that busts it over the edge, you know, cause all the heaviest stuff goes straight to the bottom. And then the stuff that's suspended in the water can flow over the edge once it's running and of course it collects in the bottom and the reason for that is that you know if any gold you know falls in here i can get it and then rerun this material so far what i've been doing i've been test panning as the material is coming out and this thing i can adjust it it tips right you see it tipping so i can adjust the angle of how much i material i want to come out of it and this thing here, just so you know uh, how I got this idea, of course I've been trying to figure out concentration of uh, real fine materials like I do. And, uh, but a gentleman named Keith Bowen, Keith Bowen, I love you baby. <laughs> uh, a gentleman named Keith Bowen, Keith Bowen, I love you baby. <laughs> uh, he has Hard Rock University and uh, Hard Rock University, he concentrates primarily Hard Rock University. And uh, Hard Rock University, he concentrates primarily on, you know, hard rock mining. And of course, as you can see, I'm interested, you know, busting up the rocks a couple times, get them in decent size, run them through the chain mill, you get a bunch of powder, dump it in here, concentrate the material. Finally, you gotta run it across, the, you can see my table over there. Oh. A couple times, get them in decent size. Run through the chain mill, you get a bunch of powder, dump it in here, concentrate the material. Finally, you gotta run it across it. You can see my table over there. Ah! Oh. Sugar tables is in a pile. Yeah, I'm redesigning that uh, seal frame, blah, 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 a few things like that, make it a little more permanent. Uh, and then, of course, I'll run these finds on the shaker table and, uh, and then get the gold. <laughs> so, anyway, let me fire this log up and I'll show you. Okay, so anyway. Let me fire up the water so you can just see that here first. So you can see it spraying out there, right? It's filling the bucket. And of course, the heaviest stuff, of course, is sitting in the bottom. So you can just see that here first. So you can see it spraying out there, right? Filling the bucket. And of course, the heaviest stuff, of course, is sitting in the bottom. It's 16 times classified, uh, not classified, but concentrated. Uh, compared to the original amount of material. The reason I got this guy on here, the flap, is uh, of course it wants to splash around slightly and of course the water wants to splash out. You can see my water trail there. <laughs> but uh, with this on here, of course it confines it to a little less splashing and whatnot. 
and I got the water flow speed on pretty slow here but uh, I've tried it cranked all the way not cranked let me crank it all the way here one time now she's cranked and of course you see it coming out here and basically where it's at here now even if I try to pan this of course nothing's basically coming out I mean nothing nothing uh, you know it's uh it's got all the heavies in there all the fine stuff's already gone and so this can't release anything and of course at this angle the material is all the way down here right so it's not going to do much but if i put the shake on then of course you can see it splashing around like i said you throw the cover on there and then of course it's far more contained a little more manageable now this thing here uh is doing a fine job you know what i've done uh over the last uh few weeks as I was playing with it this is about my third iteration on what I wanted I wanted a five gallon bucket unit that I could do it with so when it wears out I just flip it in a new bucket and blah 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 and uh, so it makes it easy but what I've done of course I've collected material that would be coming out of this and if I tip it down you know uh, some material will come out and uh, after I collected it for a significant amount of time I would pan it and of course see if there's any gold coming out of this thing and uh, of course i don't want any gold to come out and you see a tiny bit of material came out of there but basically nothing just the lightest fluffiest crap and uh and so that's how i've been sampling it as far as uh you know making sure i'm not losing any gold and uh anyway let me show you uh what i do when i tip this thing okay i'm gonna set this camera down for a moment over here and uh so once you get your material in there that's been running for a little while you can tip it at a far greater angle. Of course, you go step by step, but I got so little material in here right now, I know nothing's gonna come out of here. I know it, you know. Uh, of course, we'll check here real quick. Basically, same stuff, just a little tiny bit of powder came out. Let me go up another notch. Actually, I'm gonna go up two notches. This is just about the maximum tilt right here. Gotta stick on a little extra. I gotta do a couple more modifications. I'm putting on these rubber band over here because I don't want it to suddenly just tip all the way. When it's full of material, this thing's really heavy, and this little guy, this little uh, you know, bungee won't keep it from falling over. So I'm gonna make a little, some kind of little deal here. Maybe another spring. I'm not really sure just yet. Uh, maybe a click system so I can get rid of that. Anyway, one by one, we just keep modifying until she works great. And as you can see, of course, I got a much deeper angle on this thing now. So the bottom line is the maximum material I can collect is right here. That's it. It'll wash out to that point finally. And so the bottom line is the maximum material I can collect is right here. That's it. It'll wash out to that point finally. So right now, might have a little more material in here. Maybe. Let me see how much we got in here. There, you can see definitely some is coming out. Now I have been, I've been panning that right along to see what's in there. And once in a while I get a tiny bit of something or other, but basically no, basically nothing uh, is falling out of there. No gold, no silver. And uh, so I'm really happy the way it works. Uh, like I said, you know, Hard, Hard Rock University uh, gave me this idea. It's based on an old keen system that they built. It's basically just a concentrator. Uh, Something like this, but a much bigger unit. I wanted to make something very portable that would fit on the, you know, the gold sampling trailer here. And uh, hard rock uh, sampling, whatever I called it. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're getting really close to having a, a complete system here. And so as soon as I get the shaker table done again, uh, I'll have a complete system. Uh, you can see I got the chain mill apart here. Uh, tough uh, pieces here. I had some uh, rebar across here. And anyway, I gotta put uh, some new little gizmos on there. But basically, we are coming along with the uh, sampling trailer pretty darn well. I will uh, remove this material out of here and, of course, uh, pan it down and see if we got any gold. Which, like I said, I ran two full buckets, so it's got, uh, shoot, every bit of, uh, I don't know, maybe 150 pounds of material in there. Uh, and of course we're down to just a couple pounds now because all the stuff is classified, not classified, concentrated down to this uh, little bit. 
and you can see there's almost nothing coming out of here. You, typically, if I got a bunch of material coming out, you can see it going right by here, like crazy. And uh, let's take a look at this here. There won't be much more. Yeah, see a tiny, tiny bit of fines are coming out. But basically, that material is down to the, uh, it's down to the last little bit, the heavy, heavy stuff. Anyway, let me shut her off here again real quick and uh, we'll show you what we got again. Now, how I like to shut this thing down, and what I need to do is put a, uh, a valve in here. I'm going to probably build this tube up so I actually got an on and off valve here. Because if I just turn it off, uh, it'll siphon, you know, back to material and actually pulls a little material out of here into my, um, into my uh, PVC uh, situation through those little holes. And I don't want that, of course. So what I do is I just reach in here and I give it a little turn until... This is off, and of course it's just running now, right? And then I turn it off, and then it can't siphon. So we're in the no siphon mode now. And uh, like I said before, you can tip this thing down. And of course you can run it way down here like this. And of course you get super fine, uh, I mean super uh, well uh, concentrated material if you run it all the way down there. So let me strip off some of that and we can take a look in here. Now you see what's going on there. Let me grab this other camera. You can see here. You can see here's the PVC again. And then here's the material. And it's real, real soft, you know. So I know this stuff here is probably garbage. It probably doesn't have anything in it. But of course the stuff uh, down on the bottom is far more concentrated. It's far harder back here where it's been concentrating it down to just the real heavies. So anyway, uh, and uh, sorry I haven't got with you here lately, but uh, I'll post a win a mucka video. <laughs> I'll post a win a mucka video pretty soon. Pushing around the dirt in win a mucka for our new place. And uh, of course we want the barn, we want uh, the house, all this stuff. Uh, we have 4.85 acres down there. Uh, really having fun getting that prepared uh, for post work. We're talking about retirement, retirement baby. Anyway, very excited about that, uh, but uh, that's still about a year off, but you got to do some work, you know, you got to get it down, get funky, baby. So that's all I wanted to show you guys. I will, uh, I'll give you a little update later. You know, we'll actually get some of our material here. Let me go over here real quick. We'll get some of this material here. Actually, this is some good stuff here. This should really yield some good, some good gold there. Look at that, baby. Woohoo! Yes, sir thing is about all mineral and uh yeah it's tough on breaking it up but you're gold on that baby for sure what i did is i i classified the rocks too to similar types everywhere uh so i don't uh, so i know what each uh type of rock carries from that mine site and of course here's some more these are all uh similar rock types also so yeah what we'll do is we'll uh take some of these guys you know, and we'll bust them down to, I don't know, about half that size. And then I'll dial down the uh, jaw mill, or excuse me, the jaw crusher, a little bit further for maybe about, maybe less than one inch, uh, you know. And then bust it down to a very manageable size, then run it through the chain mill. And then, of course, uh, put it in the bucket and I uh, uh, get it all wet, you know, by adding water and spinning it with the drill. And then add it to the uh, concentrator and concentrate it down. And that's been my routine here lately, baby. It's been fun. Uh, actually, I've only been able to play with it for a couple hours in the last few weeks uh, because I'm so damn busy. That's the problem. <laughs> all that work and house building and all that stuff getting in the way. Well, we're getting down and getting funky on it, baby. Yeah, it's coming along. And I'm excited. Love you guys. Peace, baby. Have a great day. Bye-bye.
I'm a 